All right, welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to show you how you can use DaVinci Resolve to create transparent overlays and stinger transitions for OBS. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So as you can see here, I have created an overlay. Just so you can see it's transparent. I've got a picture over here. If I turn it on, you can see there's transparency. I'm going to be using this overlay as a looping video. It's eight minutes long. It has uh, a transition between colors there. It has some uh, text that's coming up. So I don't want this to be a static overlay. I want this to be a, a video overlay with a little bit of movement. So to export that, I'm going to go to my deliver page and we have a couple of options here. The one that I suggest using is uh, under QuickTime format, choose the GoPro Cineform codec, and then make sure to select this um, RGB 16 bit so you can get the alpha channel. That's the one that's going to make it transparent. Or if you want a lossless, so it's going to be higher quality, then you can choose uh, DNxHR if you're on Windows, and that has alpha channels as well. But to be completely honest with you, when you're streaming, you're not going to need that sort of quality and we're going to be going through a conversion process anyway. So in my opinion, it's absolutely not worth the time to export in this lossless format. Just go with Cineform and make sure to have the, um, the alpha channel selected. So I'm not going to render this out. This is going to take me a solid 10 minutes to do. So I'm just going to pull up the one that I already have here. And as you can see, it's almost 14 gigs in size for this eight minute video. So this is going to take you some time. From there, we're gonna to have to convert this into a file that OBS is going to recognize. And that's going to be WebM. As you can see, after the conversion, it's substantially smaller, which is great. It's gonna be much lighter to run. And there's very little loss in quality in terms of what your audience is going to see. So to do that, you might think that uh, one of the new versions of Handbrake would work because if we import this video here with the transparent background, we do have a WebM option. Unfortunately, Handbrake doesn't handle the transparency. So no matter what you do, you're going to get a black video background. So that's not the option that we want. Previously to do this, I was using FFmpeg, but what I found more recently is that any of the uh, derivative software that's built upon FFmpeg can actually do this process without any of the scripting that you used to need to do back in the day. So for example, this is a software that I was using up until very recently, Shutter Encoder. It works great. But what I found is uh, a different software that, in my opinion, is a little bit easier to use and, at least on my computer, runs a little bit quicker. It's called ShareX. So if we were to open this up, this is what you get. So just go into your tools, go into a Video Converter, and then here you select which video you want to convert. Here you select where you want to place it and it's automatically going to pick a name, select the uh, format you want, uh, VP9. In terms of quality, you can crank it all the way up. You're not going to see too much of a performance hit on your computer, whether you have the quality down or the quality up. So just crank it up unless you're going to be using an online player such as um, Stream Elements or something like that where you have a file size limit. In that case, if it's too big, turn down the quality a little bit, but there's really not too much of a performance hit if you're just playing this locally on OBS. From there, just start the encoding, and there you go. So that's why I've been using this one. Stupid easy, there's basically no options, nothing to think about, it's just going to run, and it's going to work. If this was helpful, let me know in the comments below, leave a like, subscribe, it helps out the channel, and make sure to check out my company, ToonSquid. We offer royalty-free music as well as some DaVinci Resolve templates for free. So hit up the website and grab whatever you want. 
And until next time, I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Bye now.